Hello everybody and welcome back to my F123 My Team Career Mode. This is Season 4, Round 4. And we are, we are at Miami for one shot qualifying first. And then we have a 20 lap race. But first, let's qualify. This is a circuit I'm not too confident around. It's not one of my strong circuits. So any points we can get here, I will be happy with. Last time out in Melbourne, we managed to get on the podium, and that was a very strong result for us. So I'm hoping we can keep some form of momentum going. That, but this first sector, that is my weakness round here. But hopefully, in the last two sectors, we can make up for it. Because so far, I was the slowest through that first sector, a whopping nine tenths off. I really struggled round there, and that time was no exception I struggled more than usual there but we're gonna try and make it up for the rest of the lap and that's what we're doing we're having a good run through here and we should gain some positions this is one of my better parts of the circuit and it should suit the car and we're really really giving it everything we've got to get a better grid position so far we're looking at moving up to 15th after being stone dead last if I can crack the top 10 that would be good. It's been a pretty poor lap so far. But let's see if we can claw anything back. That line is not helping, however. Oh, it's been a terrible lap. It's really not been a good lap at all. Norris gets pole. But we are down in 18th for the Grand Prix with a lot of work to do. There were a couple of mistakes on that lap. And it's really put us in a difficult position moving forwards. We're all ready but pole Morris position is going to Lando Norris. It's George Russell that makes the front row. This is an interesting lineup. Russell is second, Verstappen third, then Dewan and Porsche are fourth and sixth with Drogovic fifth. But look at the gap between the front three. It is so tight. And to be fair, I think this track isn't doing either one either one of me and signs any favors because we're 13th and 17th so after a strong showing in australia that is really not where we want to be but it's all about the race and points aren't given out here well it's no secret that f1 is booming in popularity right now in the usa Today's race, one of three in the United States, is a testament to that. It's time for the Miami Grand Prix. Well, it's certainly not sunny here in the Sunshine State. A lap of the Miami Grand Prix features 19 corners and 3.36 miles of track around the... It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lando Norris put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Dewan, Drogovic, Teo Porcher, Joe, Stroll, Oscar Piastri, Halga, Gasly, Albon, Sainz, Sonoda, Leclerc, Liam Lawson, Ocon, Joker, Sargent, Ricardo, Magnussen and Frederick Vesti. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Anthony Davidson is alongside me as usual for today's race. Why don't we kick off by discussing Max Verstappen? That was a great podium in the last race. Can they keep... Okay. What is he talking about? Verstappen did not make the podium in the last race. Right. We've got wet conditions in Miami. We're starting at the back. Sainz is also in the mid-pack. Can we make our way forwards? It is time to do this then. The 20-lap Miami Grand Prix is underway. Right now. And it's a decent start. I'll tell you what though, it looks like Sainz struggled to get away. And there may be room to make some positions up the inside. I broke a bit later. I'm forcing my car up the inside. At the moment, I think we're alongside an AlphaTauri of Charles Leclerc. And we've forced Leclerc out of the way. 
I knew we'd be racing Leclerc, but I didn't think we'd be racing him for 15th this season. Such is how things have played out, but we have gained places off the start. I really do not like this first sector, though. It's tiptoe time in the wet. But I think we've managed to okay. Right, on to the main straight. We have gained places, so this is a good start for us, and it's a great place to build on. But we now have this ever so long straight, which isn't really a straight. And we've got a massive braking zone. And first things first, I am going to attack Sonoda. Sonoda's defended. He's really defending it, but I'm forcing myself up the inside. And despite the amount of fight we had to put into that, we do get ahead of Sonoda and move up a place. And our next target is our teammate, Carlos Sainz. I don't want to attack him too hard at this stage. It's very wet. It's very slippy. But I think we might have a chance up the inside of the hairpin here. I do think at this stage we might be able to gain one or two more places. But we'll see how it unfolds. And in fact, Sainz is about to attack Albon. So we're going to see how that goes. I don't want any part of that. So I'm going to back out early and try and avoid hitting either one of them. Which we have done. Sainz was not able to get through. This might make him vulnerable towards the end of the lap and the beginning of the next one. And we're going to attack our teammate here. We're attacking Sainz, who's attacking Albon. And I think he's going to dive down the inside of the McLaren. Albon not willing to give up here. What a battle this is over P12. Sainz covers me. Just in case I was trying to gain on the momentum. It didn't happen, and we are both stuck behind Alex Albon. What a miserable day it is for us. After finishing third and fourth in Melbourne... We're 10 places lower apiece. And we have got a yellow flag. So someone in front of us has blown up. As Yuki Sonoda's having to come back at me here. But I want to try and get back at him. We're side by side. Can I get him before the yellow flag? I think I do. So Sonoda will have to back out, surely. Because we're in a yellow zone. And who is that? That's... It's Lando Norris! Lando Norris is going very slowly. As Sainz goes up the inside of Albon. Now, that, that's... That was under yellow. Is Carlos going to get a penalty here? Albon seeds. We have a virtual safety car. But Lando Norris, the championship leader, is out okay, of down. the slow race. Down. Your delta's negative, which means you're going too fast to reduce your pace. All right, what's the weather forecast? Weather report. The weather forecast is five or ten minutes more of rain. Five or ten more minutes of rain. So we haven't got much more of rain. But that's really thrown the championship wide open here. Norris came into it leading after two straight race wins. But, I, but wow, that's really thrown it out for Lando. Rotten luck for him, of course. But this could be Verstappen's game. This could also be our game, too. We're not losing out too many points in the championship fight. But we've also got Verstappen to think about. And Vers there is no Verstappen. Verstappen easily as the safety car, safety car is about is to end and I want to be in the prime place to go for it here we go so Shines and Albon were a little bit asleep on that restart I was able to keep up with them but really I want to nail the first sector here so that I can really go for it and I think Russell is leading the way here I'm not sure but I think it's George Russell that is leading the race I wish I could you know, we're going to have a cheeky look at the race director to see what's what. So it's Russell leading, Drogovic second, and Verstappen is in third. So, all good for us at the moment because Verstappen isn't leading. But, of course, we don't want to lose out too many points in the championship. We want to try and stay within the fight if we can because we've got more upgrades coming as the season progresses. And I feel like the second half of the season is going to be a real charge for us. At the moment, though, both myself and Signs are out of the points. And I really want to try and nail this right when the conditions change. Because we have got a change of weather coming. For now, though, it is still wet. And we're being told, use overtake, burn off the energy. Problem is, I find we're a little bit stuck right now. And Signs is the driver at the moment that has the advantage that is in the pound seat. For us. Oh, that was way too close to Albon there. But it'll get us a... It, I, was, oh, well, I did think it was going to get us a faster exit. 
but it hasn't done that. All that's done is put Yuki Tsunoda right on my rear. And a full safety car might have been more useful than the virtual we had, but is what it is. Right, so that it, they are now saying the rain is easing and that the line isn't dry enough for slicks yet, but it won't be long before it is. This is a tropical climate here in Miami, so the track should dry relatively, relatively quick unless the humidity keeps the circuit wet. But for now, well, we're, we're a little bit stuck where we are. Alban's got clear of us. And we've been given the notification that the, the circuit is drying. It is getting drier here, so it is going to be a case of who blinks first. Signs at the moment is really on the back of another driver as we've gone very deep and allowed Sonoda a chance. That's not going to happen, though. And Lawson is making his way forward. Lawson's having a low-key good race here in P15. That's not the circuit, but we're trying to keep up with Alban. Now it becomes a case of trying to second-guess the weather. I don't think we're at slick territory yet, but I think it won't be long until we are. I would take a gamble, though, because in the position we're in, we've got nothing to lose, but it's still very wet at the moment. But right now, we're, we're stuck behind Alvin, and in fact, Sonoda is staying with me. I really do not like this sector, but this is where we and this is where we lose out. I struggle with that sector, but this is where we make it up in the sector two. And you can see the track is drier, so I am thinking, gamble it this lap, gamble it this lap. But we'll take on a set of medium tyres that should take us to the finish. I don't think we're quite. Although well, I still don't think we're quite there yet. Looking at it, it's definitely drier than it was the last lap. But how much drier? But then again, I'm in a position so far where I've got nothing to lose from taking the gamble. So my logic here is that I don't have anything further to lose. And if I call it in the right time, I get stuck behind signs sitting in. So... If we have to double stack, I get stuck behind Carlos, so what do I do? What I do is I take a gamble a, a couple of laps early, and in fact a couple of Piastri has, has pulled into the pits, and DRS is now enabled to have I timed that just right? I think so. There's Piastri in the pits. We have timed that to perfection because it just came up. DRS available, which is usually the sign that it is all clear to move on to another tyre. The dry tyre, that's what we've done. And Piastri's on the hard, so that's going to mean that he's a little bit slow. And we're going to capitalise on that. So, yep, that was the lap, and the circuit is looking noticeably drier. we just got to try and find where the grip is, because it doesn't appear there is any. But looking at the gap to Piastri, we're not going any slower than him, so that's a relief. I just don't like that first sector, but once we're out of it, this will be where we start making up the time. And that was the perfect call. Wow, that's really going to work out for us here as we jam on the brakes towards the second sector fight in the car but you know what it feels like a good fight I think we've done the right thing here Piastri's three seconds ahead and he'll struggle around here he will struggle but we're doing just fine there's not all that much grip there as Stroll sets a fastest lap of the race as Stroll's decided he's staying out Carlos signs the Lexus a pit though so let's see what how hitting early for us has done for our Grand Prix because now we've caught a uh, Piastri by a few tenths so I reckon we're going to set a purple final sector where is this going to place us I surely we've got to be at least ahead of signs surely we've got to have gained a couple of places in this 
Here we go, round the first corner. There's Sainz, and no, we've really gained nothing through that. There's Gasly, though. We're going to have to try and not hit him. But no, we've really not gained all that much from doing that. So it's not really benefited me personally. But I am close to Sainz, who's still going to be getting his tyres up to temperature. And I think there is an overtake potential there. Because his tyres will not be heated up yet. Mine are nice and hot and ready to go. So at the moment, it is an attack on Carlos that we're looking for. And look how close we're getting down the main straight. But I don't think we're going to be able to get Carlos just yet. But there's a queue of cars now that's stuck behind a slow car who didn't pit. And I don't know. I feel like we might be able to gain a little something out of this. But look how, look how much look how much sliding we're doing. Oh, I'm trying not to hit signs. But I want to get past him here. I do not want to stay behind my teammate, but it looks like we're going to have to do just that for now. Who is this that's slowing everybody up? That's what I want to know. There is somebody that is just slowing it all up out there, and we go to the outside wide line. And there's a yellow flag. Someone's gone round. I didn't see who it was. This would be the worst time for a red flag, and we've got a red flag. So we have a red flag here at Miami. And that is not going to work out for us at all. But we have a red flag. The session has been stopped. And now we get to review the strategy. I think fresh set of mediums and then on to the softs if we need to make a second stop at the end. But right, that is that could work out for us. We're in 11 and whoever didn't pit under the safety car, that's worked for them. Right, here we go once again here in Miami. Piastri not away well. And we're trying to find a way through here. Is there a way through? No, but we have moved up. Well, we've got Joe alongside us. Oh, that's well, we slid wide there. But we managed to hold on. Right, we're P9 now. We are ahead of signs. Leclerc is just there as well. And what a mad start that has been for us. But we're moved up, we up into P9. And Dennis Hauger, this has worked a treat for. He's in the top five right now. But he's going to have a tough battle here. Right, we have 11 laps left to go in this race. I don't think the soft tyre was the right call. I think the medium tyre is going to last better. Look at these battles unfolding here. There's Dewan, there's Joe, there's Hauger, there's Russell. <laughs> I can't really tell what's going on here. But at the moment, they're all shuffling each other. And we're right behind it. Russell's got clear. Joe's got ahead of Dewan. And we're going to have a look at Dewan soon as well. But this, this is mad here at Miami. Right, can we get past Jack Dewan? We're on the straight. We're three tenths behind. Can we do anything about him? Yes, we can. And we try not to hit anyone as well. But that turns into a... That was a late break that turned into a double overtake. And we ended up giving Joe a bit of a tag. He's now trying to fight off Jack Doohan. But that, that was late breaking, which turned into a double overtake. Someone's having to go up my inside. It is Joe Guan Yu. I'm going to have to try and hold that off. Dennis Hauger in sixth place. He's clearing off into the distance while I'm fighting these cars. And we're in P7 here in Miami, struggling through... A sector I do not enjoy. And Joe and Signs are right behind. Now, I think Carlos might just be a bit faster in these conditions. If he gets through, I'm not holding him up. But I really would like to try and catch back up with Dennis Hauger. Because if, because if he gets away from us, he's looking very good for some great points again. Alpha and Mayo are having an in incredible start to their season at the moment this race is just heating up quite literally because the sun has come out and the heat of my, the Miami day is setting in but I'm developing a little bit of a train behind me but if Carlos Sainz gets ahead of Joe I'm not holding him up I'm letting him go meanwhile what's this battle ahead Russell is battling someone I can't see who it is though I have no idea who it is. 
I think it's a Mercedes, I'm not entirely sure. It may even be... I can't really tell on the map. It, oh, it's Teo Porsche in the Red Bull, it's Teo Porsche. Porsche in the top five, I'm in a great run here in Miami. And we're now closing in on Dennis Alga. So at the moment, today is coming to Red Bull. We're down in seventh. I'm trying to keep up with Halga, but again, sector one, not ideal for me. Wow, what a dramatic race we have had so far in Miami. I don't know what caused the red flag. Somebody, somebody went round. And as a result, we're in P7. And we're going to be fighting off Joe Guanyu and Carlos Sainz. Drivers I didn't expect to be battling. And is that Dennis Halga slowing with a problem? Did I know, did I detect a bit of smoke coming out of the Alfa Romeo? Or is that braking smoke? I don't know, but I've made a mistake there. I've gone across the grass. Not, not the grass, the runoff. I want to make sure I don't do that too many more times. As we come to the end of another lap. And at the moment, Joe and Sainz is still behind me. Well, this is a crazy, crazy afternoon's racing here. And we are approaching the pit window if we need it, but at the moment, I don't think we do. I think we're on for a solid battle here with Dennis Halga. Poor P6, that's my target. If I can get into P6, I've limited the damage well, and we've still got some good points. But I obviously need to catch Alga first. We're not doing it in this sector. But I get the feeling that overall, pace-wise, even with how much we struggle there, we are faster. So I think it's... I'm not giving up hope. We are 1.3 behind. And I think little by little, we are catching Halga. But the problem is, if I start having to fend off from Joe, which I'm having to do now, that's really going to hurt my race. Joe's come through there, and he's actually... Oh, he's past. He's got past me. I weren't a lot I could do there. He went up the inside. I didn't want to have to cover in case I, that compromised me. But it has, and now... Well, I'm right behind him, and I'm going to have a nice dose of DRS coming down this straight. Unfortunately, now... Our battle is more with Joe than it is with Halga. But if I can get the run on the straight, which is what we've done, Joe's gone defensive to the inside. I'm going to break a bit later, carry it around the outside. He's gone inside, and I think we have just about got the position on the Alpine. Give him a little bit of a squeeze, and we are back into P7. But that's allowed Halga a little bit of breathing space, and Paul Cher has now gone down the road too. So Paul Cher... Catching him might be a tall order, but I'm still going to give it everything. I'm still going to try my best, because at the moment, I still see an opportunity with Dennis Hauger, providing, of course, that we can just try and stay a bit closer to him than we have been and not really lose out to Joe. We can't afford any more time loss fighting cars behind, because we are quicker than Hauger. And we could catch him. I feel like it's there. The pace is there to do it. But I just don't want to be fighting off Joe and Sainz any further. I'm surprised Carlos wasn't able to get through. Through all that. So Carlos stuck for another lap. Maybe it would help if I, if I could get clear of DRS. Maybe Carlos have had a, would have a shot. I don't know. But I tell you what. We're now within just about the DRS of Halga. And we didn't stay there for up for the straight though, so we lost out just. If we could just get in Halga's DRS it to make a difference, it'd push us forwards a bit, but at the moment we're just stuck in that zone just outside. But I tell you what, we took that corner well, and now, now we're gonna get DRS, and this could be the difference. The Alfa Romeo driver will be wanting to hold on to P6 because they're great points. Problem is, we're quicker and I want that place. Some information on Dewan. They've got an issue with their car, they're going to be slow. 
Right, so I've just heard that Jack Dewan's got an issue. And that's rotten luck for him as we go a little bit wide there. But we're still going to have DRS on Halga, which should save us from being attacked by Joe. But he's getting closer. So I don't know. Is, uh, is that going to protect us from an attack? Just about. Just about. But look how close Halga is now. P6 is definitely on the table for us. If we can just, just get clear of this Alfa Romeo. And if we can get clear of him, we might have a chance at catching Paul Cher. There's not long left in this race, but it, there's a possibility. Here we go then. This should be us being clear of Halga. We're going to go to the inside. He's going to cover. But down the straight we go. This is where we took Joe a lap ago. And this is where we are now going to try and take the place on Halga. Got a bit deeper there. I've allowed him the space. Halga's still there. Round the outside. We're going to be side by side. Heading to the start finish straight. Which isn't really a straight. Halga's still side by side with me there. How is this going to work out? I break. Halga breaks. We're still side by side. But we have got past the Alfa Romeo. Next up is Teo Porsche. So we have got past Dennis Halga. Which, to be fair, we are quicker anyway. That was an inevitable move. I'm glad we're able to make it. Now we can start hunting down Teo Porsche and maybe even thinking about a top five, which is which is really good when you consider we started 18th, but Halga might come back at me down this straight. I'm not sure, but he's going to have Joe Guanyu right behind him for company, and he's going to have Carlos Sainz there. So it's going to be difficult for him this time round to do anything, and I think the DRS has just protected him for now. As we now try, try, and try to catch this Red Bull in front. We are catching him, but I just, I don't know, I feel like this might just be too tall in order, but it's not going to stop me having a go. Okay, I just think that Paul Cher has got a decent cushion to him that is at the moment protecting him. It's 2.2 seconds at the moment, and it's we're not gaining at a rate that I would say is like, yeah, we're catching him, let's do this. But we're catching him at a rate that is just... Eh. It would have been enough if we could just found two or three tenths more. But for now, it looks like the fifth and sixth were locked in, pending, of course, any last-minute dramas. And it looks very close for first. I think that's Verstappen and Drogovic exchanging that battle two laps to go here and Joe is catching us and I think Halga is using the DRS of Joe to stop signs going for him it's not been as strong a race for us here because with only one Williams in the race if we'd have done what we did in Melbourne it should have been a 2-3 but obviously with bad qualifying and struggling in race pace it's not happened here but bad races happen and it's not as bad as it could have been we're still in p6 we're looking at some good good championship points here which will keep us in contention and the best thing is norris didn't finish so we don't even lose any points to him But I think moving forwards, the championship favourite is clearly Verstappen. So if we could just catch back up to Mercedes. Oh no, we've hit the inside wall! We've had a drama ourselves! And we were looking at P10, but now it's all gone! We've lost it and we've gone down to P11! That inside wall being my own undoing! And now we're down to 11th, we're out of the points! On the last, well, last couple of laps, we've gone from looking at good points to now looking at no points. Can I get back past Leclerc on the final lap? Oh, that is dismal. That is dismal. Okay, final lap. Let's go. Final lap. And I can only apologise. I can only apologise and accept that that was my mistake there. Clipping that wall, losing out. But that's given 
so many drivers positions now and I think that's also given Hauger back a place that he may lose to Sainz now at least Sainz is scoring points for the team today because as it stands we are not and that just makes for miserable reading P11 I can't believe it I really can't believe that I am going to be kicking myself for that one because it's such an easy mistake to make as well. It's so easy just to get that wrong. Clip that curb, round it goes, and before long you've lost places and we're not going to be able to catch Leclerc in this final lap to Charles Leclerc. He, <laughs> we nudged him out the way at the start of the race to gain 15th. He's taken 10th off me. Our former teammate then is your race winner here in Miami, Felipe Drogovic wins round four of season four of this alternative universe in F1. But for us, it's P11 and it's no points. Damn it! performance here then and a commanding victory. Tell me, Ant, how do they manage to achieve this win? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all. Well, that was the champagne music didn't fly there. But there you go, Felipe Drogovic, your race winner from Miami. Max Verstappen getting second and Lance Stroll getting a second podium of the season. George Russell gets fourth. Teo Porsche gets fifth, some great points for him. Zhou Guan Yu gets P6, a great result for him. Hauger seventh, he's had points every race so far this season. Then it signs at Piastri and Leclerc, rounding out the top ten. Ah, if only we hadn't hit that inside barrier. If only, but if is F1 backwards. Which means now Max Verstappen leads the championship on 64 points. Felipe Drogovic now moves up to second. Stroll is third and Lando Norris who was looking an absolute shoo-in so far at this stage. Now down to fourth. We're in fifth. George Russell moves up and splits us. Dennis Hauger is eighth in the standings with Piastri and Joe rounding out the top ten. Then the two Red Bull drivers equal 111 points. And then it's Sonoda and Sargent. And in the constructors, Mercedes have made gains here today. As two of Williams. Alpine have also jumped forwards. We, however, are pretty much stuck and we've lost ground. Alfa Romeo in fifth, Red Bull six, McLaren Haas, and then it's Alfa Tauri on two points with Leclerc scoring two points. Aston Martin and Ferrari right at the back. Oh, I am gutted about that mistake. But thank you for watching this instalment of Career Mode. Don't forget to leave a like, hit subscribe for more content from me. Until the next time, TTFN guys, ta-ta for now, take care.